Are you short on time but want to create a polished top-down movement in Godot 4 in under 5 minutes? Then you've come to the right place. Let's get started. Open up your Godot project and create a new scene as a character body TD. Set up your character body by creating a sprite and collision shape node as its child. Make sure to save your scene while renaming your character body to player. Now for setup done, let's start coding. Select the player node and create a new script. Inside the script, create a speed variable that control our player's movement speed. Create a physics process function and type out if press. This line will detect when you press a certain button in your game, and the button it detects depends on what you put in between the brackets. For our top down game, we want our player to go up, down, left, and right. So you can quickly add this by copying and pasting your code four times and changing directions each time. Once that's done, we'll add a velocity by one or negative one depending on the direction they're going in. Once done, add this short algorithm which will make our player movement more tactile and less slippery. But before we run our code, there are a few things we can do to polish up our game. An easy way to polish a top-down movement is to add some animations to bring our player to life. Go to the player setup and right click on the sprite node. Scroll down until you find the change type option. Click on it and change the sprite node to an animation mode. Once changed, go to animations, sprite frames, and create a new sprite frame. Drag and drop your sprite animations onto the bar. Don't forget to rename your animations accordingly. Also, be sure to add a collision shape to your player so you don't run into any pesky errors. Now go back to your player script and let's start working on our animation detection system. So to break it down, Design the code to detect what button the player is pressing and plays the animation that corresponds using the animation play function. Design flip the sprite whenever the player goes left or right. Now something that I personally like to add to my top down games is making the player slightly tilt towards the direction that they're facing. This adds a layer of liveliness that I like. I usually add this by implementing a line of code that changes the rotation degrees of the player depending on what direction they go in. By the way, this is my first video on YouTube, so leaving a comment or subscribing would go a long way. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and always remember to create and innovate. Bye!